Welcome back. This afternoon we're taking a trip to Watkins Wildlife Rehab. Now we're going to see several animals and this is a reminder these are not pets, just wild animals on the road to recovery. Uh, we've been doing it since 1969, so we've seen a lot of, a lot of birds and, and animals and stuff come through. For nearly 55 years, John Watkins and his wife Carolyn have run their own nonprofit wildlife rehab in Bollinger County, Missouri. And that's his noise. <laughs> that's not a hoot. Staffed entirely by volunteers, they are one of the very few locations in the heartland federally licensed to care for orphaned, injured, and sick wildlife. When we take care of them, we take care of them as much like their mother would as we possibly can because, you know, otherwise we couldn't get them back to the wild. Which happens to be the case for this coyote. This was a, a coyote that was found in St. Louis years and years ago uh, by some people that got her as a pup and raised her as a puppy and then found out they couldn't keep her. So they brought her down to me to take care of her and they wanted to know if I could get her back to the wild. Well, she'd run up to me and lay over on her back to get her belly rubbed. Wild animals, first and above all, do not make good pets. And generally what happens is they get them and they don't have the license and um, or the knowledge to take care of them. This coyote will spend the rest of her life being taken care of by walk-ins. Meanwhile, this barred owl is about to get some good news. We've had him for quite a while, letting him get over his head injury. He's about to be released. We make our way towards a nearby field. All right, here you go, buddy. This owl takes off. He doesn't know where he's going, so he'll sit there for a minute. I've had him do this before. This is, this is what we enjoy. How cool. Soon enough, he's brought another animal, this time a bald eagle with a wing injury. And once, once she can fly from perch to perch to perch, you know, without making any mistakes and making a nice landing and everything. And I mean, she's got to do that for a week or two. When the eagle is fully healed, John says he must return the bird to where she was found. No, they mate for life and they come back to the same nest year after year for as long as they live. And that's 25 years in, in the wild for an eagle. Through he and his wife's years, they have seen thousands of animals. This is the baby red-tailed hawk. One of the most asked questions. People always say, how can you turn them loose? I hate to see anything in a cage. When they start walking back and forth in that cage, then it's time to turn them loose. And you can see even more of Watkins' work with these amazing animals all month long. Each Friday in June, we'll introduce you to another animal being cared for. You can go to my Facebook page to let us know which one is your favorite. We'll see you back here after the break.